What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to download the proper SCP toolkit, you feel me? For some people, DS4 doesn't work. Some guy said I should try DS4. It didn't work for me, I don't know why. I don't know if I have a different version of the strike pack. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know if I have a different version of the strike pack because I bought mine in China, but the DS4 Windows literally does not work for me. So I still have to use SCP toolkit. And in the other video, someone was saying the link wasn't working or something something i'm gonna show you guys literally how it works this is my one right that i already have installed but for the sake of this video i'm gonna uninstall it and install it again just to show you guys that it actually works that it's not just cap you feel me but i'm gonna type scp toolkit installer and i'm gonna press uninstall uh it should be here under s right Hello? Yo, what the hell? Where is it? SCP. Yo, can I search something, bro? Ah, SCP toolkit. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna press uninstall. It's uninstalling right before your eyes. So it's not like, oh, I already had the SCP toolkit. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now it's finished. With the SCP toolkit. So now we're gonna go to this link. The link is gonna be down in the description. Just click on the link. When you click on the link, it's gonna give you this. It says no preview. Download the blue button because in the other one, you guys are asking me where to download or it looks different. Just look for something that shows like a similar download in the same area. Not one over here that it looks weird or not this. This. It's gonna take you to another site. Then it's gonna take you here. Then it's gonna say uh, Google Drive can't scan this for viruses, but it's not gonna corrupt your computer unless you download the wrong one. It says this file is executable. It's not gonna harm your computer. It's just the SCP to has SCP toolkit. It's because you're downloading it from Google Drive. It gives me this for other like other stuff too, cause it's Google Drive. But download anyway and the download process should start. It's not gonna take that long cause it's not like a big file, so yeah. Just click the download button over here. This one, I clicked it already, but it's just loading. My internet is slow for now for some reason, but this button guys, not the SCP toolkit here, the download button. I'm trying to, trying to be very discreet with y'all because you're asking me some funny questions last video, man. You see that it shows down here when it's finished downloading. I just press it and I press open. You feel me? Open the open part. The open. I'm trying to be very so you guys get what I'm saying. Then you choose whatever file you want. It's not a big file, so I'm gonna download it in my C drive. Then don't don't touch anything over here. Don't click Nacha Nara. Because we don't want anything bad to happen, you know? We don't want that, you feel me? We don't want that. You feel me? So you don't click anything. Just press install, then it's gonna install. Then at the end of this, if you have the white version, then something went wrong. Then I'm just gonna exit out of this. Then you see everything that got deleted from the last one, it came back to the exact same place. Then what you wanna click is the SCP Toolkit installer. I think yeah, installer. This is the monitor, blah, blah, blah. This is the settings. This is the updater. You can use the updater sometimes, like if you want to update it. But like maybe if you feel it's switching out then you wait let me actually show you guys you plug in <sighs> okay so now my strike pack is actually updated right i mean so now my strike pack is actually plugged in but you don't need the controller for this one if you want to update it if your control is being all buggy and stuff like that you just click the updater then it's basically gonna update it with this in you can do it with it with a controller in it as well, but I just think it's better because with, with all the controllers, it doesn't do anything weird, you feel me? So that's if you want to update it, but now to actually make it work, you see it's doing that sound because I put it in, that's what she said. Anyway, you go to the installer and it gives you the black version. I did this in front of you guys. There's no cuts, there's no edits, there's no nothing. And to make it work, if you're using a PS4, of course, that's what the, what the video is about. Just click this one, click this one. 
you leave the last one because you're using a dual shock four so you leave the last one there then you go down here uh, it's supposed to show you wireless uh, uh, okay wait, i'm gonna do it again wait, wait. it's not showing me wireless because i plug my controller out relax it does that it does that i'm plugging my thing back in now i'm clicking on it again ta 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 showing me the wireless look what i meant by it does that is if i pull you can see there's a wireless over here and there's a wireless over here like right two are clicking but if i plug out my controller all this is basically insignificant because it's not going to register and look my controller is still plugged out right i'm going to go back into the scp toolkit and you won't be able to see the wireless it's showing like that because it's out so you have to make sure it's securely inside because it should be securely inside it's like they made it actually pretty good for it to be securely inside you see it's it's still it's it's not like other apps where I plug it in and it's gonna show. You have to literally close the app. You can refresh if you wanna be. But you click on it again, or double double click on it again, then tap tap tap, and you can see the wireless. Then you have to choose uh, both of the wireless. For some people, they have one wireless. Other people, they have two. If you have three, that's something new. I don't know. I've just seen some people have one. I have, I'm the part of the people that have two, you feel me? So just there and there, and all you click is install, pow. Then it's gonna show all these things. things. Normally it's just gonna show you three over here, but I think there's a way to take it off. For me, it doesn't really bother me because it's at the corner of my screen. Yeah, it, it normally just shows this. It's at the corner of my screen, so I don't really care. But it just showed all those ones because it's the first time I'm installing it, you know? So then I click out. You don't need it to be there while you're playing Fortnite or whatever game. And if you want to use it again, like, or if you take it out, you have to go through the process again. But if you turn off your PC or your laptop with it plugged in, you don't have to do all the step, steps again. It's going to like just work normally. You know, feel me? So also on PS4, you don't need any of this on PS4. You just plug it in and it works because I used to have a PS4 before. That's why I started using the strike pack then. I got in here so I'm just gonna show you guys that it works actually and this is the booster that I use it's a Chinese version because I live in China and yeah this is the ping I get with the booster on so imagine the ping I get without the booster I get like a hundred ninety something in creative 120 in game that's like <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna show you guys right now and I just have to press this and the game is gonna start up I'm gonna show you guys that it's working. I'm not even gonna cut. I'm just gonna fast forward so you so you guys don't be like, oh my god, he's coming. He's coming. Yeah, yeah. And to actually know that it's working, let's say you have your mouse plugged in and you can do this. And it takes away the mouse you see the mouse over there and you move like and you move your controller that's a way i used to know that it's actually working properly for me you feel me so it's working ah, ah i can move left and right i'm just gonna show you guys in creative oh i'm pressing back like i'm gonna show you guys in creative or you know one view one map i don't know if someone's gonna play because it's almost 4 a.m where i'm at so I'm gonna go in a creative map, public, just fight someone, you know what I'm saying? You see if someone's there. Just what a video. <laughs> Using my controller real quick. Look, it's this controller, it's not a fake video. Jump, jump, battle, battle, oh, battle, jump. This is for edit, so I can edit without anything there. Look, he wants to 1v1, he's really anxious. I haven't warmed up, so. Yo, this guy is annoying me actually. I'm gonna take out my keyboard. I'm gonna take out my strike pack actually. I'm gonna plug in my keyboard and mouse. Because I've been playing on keyboard and mouse for a minute, you feel me? I've been playing keyboard and mouse for a, for a hot minute. You know what I'm saying? Plug in my keyboard. Put my headsets in. And I'm gonna whoop his ass. And then we're gonna end the video.
Ba, ba, ba. And I'm gonna... Why are you running away now, bro? Okay guys, I hope you liked the video, subscribe, share. That was just to show you guys that I could play on keyboard. I'm actually gonna leave, this guy's annoying me. That's just to show, I mean, that's just to show you guys that the thing actually works, so, um, if you wanna use SCP2 kit with the strike pack, that's it. And if DNS, if TS4 Windows doesn't work for you, like me, there you go. Like, subscribe, share. Bye.